Did any of the guys ever complain, I guess, about Dusty's booking at all? Like any of the guys in the locker room? Oh, of course. Right. Here's reality. Um, if you're not wrestling the guy you want to wrestle, if you're not in the town, in those days sometimes we'd run two towns a night, if you're not in the town that you want to be, hypothetically, we lived here in Charlotte. They ran Albany, Georgia. They ran Charlotte, same night. If you're in Albany, Georgia, you were pissed. If you were in Charlotte, happy camper. It's a thankless, never-ending, pain-in-the-ass job being the booker. Uh, when things are great, you look like a million dollars. When things are down, you're an idiot. So. Right. What were the uh, initial bunkhouse stampede matches like? Fine, but but brutal. Um, it's real easy when you got 20 or 25 guys in a ring. You're always going to have seven or eight not paying attention. A lot of broke ankles came out of that. Some blown out knees. Uh, obviously, a lot of stitches. But I think it was, uh, you know, exciting for the fans. I mean, 25 guys in there, come as you are, do what you want. I think it was the first kind of mass deal like that of its time. Right. It was way before the Royal Rumbles. So. Oh, yeah. yeah. 